So I just arrived at Lorville. As some of you may know, I am looking for the next planet to move to since things are starting to get crazy in Orison. The higher ups at the TDD here in Lorville were nice enough to fly me in so I can test some of their new hangar tech that the UEE is trying to implement across all of Stanton. They did incentivize me by dropping 15 mil a UEC into my account so I could buy whatever ship they thought would help me with their new cargo hauling demands and tech. So how could I say no to that? Wow, it does look a little bit different. Look at that, hangar services. So I believe this is where we can call our ships. We got the storage axis and uh, like the name implies, I think this is where uh, we can manage our stuff now. Yeah, look at that warehouse, the drawer. We got different uh, filters here. We got the armor, we got the uh, clothing, weapons, uh, container, sustenance. Do we have? I don't think we have anything in the container section. Yeah, I have to buy some of that. And then we have uh, sustenance. What do I have here? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I got a mug. Well, cool. Let's clear that out. Uh, let's exit the storage uh, axis. What is this? Kind of like just like a, a space where I can put stuff. Very nice. This is a medium hanger, and wow, it still looks. Uh, it still looks pretty big very nice more space here oh aren't these gonna help us move stuff a lot easier uh, i saw this while i was salvaging the other day in one of the videos because you know whenever you go salvage you gotta just put your tunes on or a, a video and just uh, chill back and uh and relax and you know make some make some money but i'm not sure if this is like the same model though because the one i saw it had kind of like a little space in here where you would like slide in and then move this whole thing around with some boxes on it. I don't think I'm authorized to use this yet, so we're gonna leave it alone. We got the med bay here, so we get a personal med bay? Or, oh, wait, yeah, med bay. We got some beds, we got some more medical stuff here, and uh, I am not touching that. That could be uh, incriminating. Yeah, not. <laughs> I'm gonna have to let them know that they're gonna have to come clean this up. Is this already working? I wonder. Yeah, more blood. Oh wow. Yeah, that this person. I hope this person made it. Okay. Uh, incapacitated patient drop off only. Oh. Okay. So that explains a lot. <laughs> What's over here? Gate 5169. What does it say on the floor? Uh, keep clear. Landing zone. Vehicles only. I really don't know what this area is for. And it seems like these side doors are completely locked. Oh, we have another screen here. Uh, is this like to call like ground vehicles? I I assume. And we got the freight manager. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, this looks fancy. I, is this where we like? Whenever we come to deliver stuff, is this where we drop stuff off? I mean, we're, we're about to find out. <laughs> Let's see. Let's open this up just to see. Okay, so we have our stuff here. We can also, I guess, like pull our stuff up through this uh, elevator. The peeps here at Lorville said that they sent me all the training modules so I could learn how to use all of this stuff, but I never got it. So <laughs> we'll have to figure this out uh, as we go. I guess I'm going to be able to use this for more of my stuff. If they really want me to stay here in Lorville, they really need to clean up the space. They still have a lot of stuff laying around where I would want to put my stuff. Another freight manager area. I guess we have two, one on each side. That's really good. So I did buy a large ship for the cargo hauling and it wasn't showing up here for obvious reasons. And I was really confused. So I came back to where we would usually claim or retrieve our ships and retrieved the large ship. And that gave me a larger hangar as a uh, you can see right here. So now going back to the elevators again, and uh, we should be able to access that. So let's see. Oh, there it is. Look at that. So now we have a large hangar. Sweet. Let's check it out. Oh my God, what was that? What is going on? <laughs> so that was uh, scary. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So this is the large hangar. I mean, it's it doesn't. Well, actually, now that I'm like walking towards this way, 
I can feel the difference. It looks like this thing is larger too, like the freight uh, elevator. Max capacity, 896 SCU. That is crazy. It's time to call it in. Oh boy. Let's switch to this view over here. Oh, let's see this thing rise. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> that was so good. There it is. This is what I bought. The cat. So good. Look at that. The scale of this thing is just insane. Wow. Man, I love Drake ships. They're so freaking cool. Man, it's been a while since I've uh, been this up close to uh, a caterpillar. All right, it's time to get on. Let's pull up the elevator. Oh, I love this thing. <laughs> so freaking cool. The only problem is, is that I do not remember how to get around this thing. Is this taking me through the cargo area? I think that's taking me through the cargo area. Is it this way? Engineering axis, turret axis, stairway. Will this take me? Let's see. Center hallway. <laughs> I'm so lost. Command axis. Is this it? Oh, wait. What's going on? Oh, I found it. Uh, that's, that's going to be quite something. I'm trying to <laughs> go in and out of the ship. I'll, I'll figure it out. So let's pick up our first hauling contract. So we got hauling here. Opportunity for independent cargo hauling. There you go. 11 SCU. So we have to go to the Everest Harbor, collect it there, and then deliver it to HDPC Casillo. So let's accept that. Sweet caterpillar. You have no business looking this good. The UEE has definitely gone out of the way to implement this brand new hangar system, and I am loving this change. Really, really loving it so far. Captain Zer Hayes here requesting permission to land. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Thank you. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Oh, that felt so good. There you go. Thank you, you too. This looks exactly like my personal hangar. The only difference is that the doors are on the side instead of the top. I'm gonna go ahead and store it because I want to go to the store and buy some... Oh, let's check it out. Look at that. <laughs> that looks so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the store and uh, buy a, a multi-tool with a um, tractor beam attachment. Yes. Yes, I know, the cat has a tractor beam, but I kind of want to do this by hand. It feels so weird not having to come here and store the ship through these computers. So it seems like I came unprepared. They don't have the tractor beam attachment here. So, oh, sorry, man. So I'm going to have to go somewhere else to buy it and then come back and uh, load the stuff in. Wait, wait a minute. Maybe they have it in the cargo center. Let's go over there. Oh, this place looks cool. I don't think I've ever been to a cargo center now that i think about it cargo services i'm assuming i can buy it here let's see so we have rentals we have logistics and supplies well you look at that okay so i want to see what can we rent here I'm, I'm just curious yeah sir thank you everything good so we have the misc freelancer the avenger and the cutlass black How about for logistics are these screens Hi. working? Hi. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, it's not working. What you got on display? Oh, there's the multi-tool. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what else you have. Some boots. Nice. Very nice. The Interstellar Transport Guild. Welcome. Thank you. Very nice. There are terminals right over there. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. So let's come to the cargo shop. And let's look for, can I buy the, you know what? Let's dress up for the job. 
quick buy this. Let's just buy the whole set. Oh, this is an exploration set. I'm going to buy it. And then we have this set over here. I'm going to buy that too. Personal weapons. There it is. Oh, they have the max lift here. I am buying this instead. So let's buy that. And let's buy a couple of, uh, couple of batteries. Let's do, let's do five. And then I'm going to buy a couple of these and, uh, bring it back to the, to the hangar. And you have to buy some protein. So I'm going to buy, let's say, let's say, 10 of these. Wow, I can't believe I've never been here before. This is really cool. I really like this. So now that I have everything that I need, it's time to call the ship. Welcome so let's see. Let's system. go. Yep, right here. Retrieve. Oh, yeah. Let me see it come up from this angle. Wow, this thing is deep. Man. Yeah, I definitely don't want to accidentally trip and uh fall to my death look at that very very cool <laughs> i love how the lights just like turn on lights up the place really cool okay so i've never done this so let's go to the freight manager Let's see let's open this up and uh wait what's going on do i just drag this in oh wait lower elevator okay let's press that Oh, so we have to lower the elevator first and then we can transfer our stuff into it. And where is the... Oh, I think this is it right here. So let's move this here. 11 SCU. And then let's just bring all our stuff in. All our items are in the elevator. So now let's uh, raise it up. Oh, look at that. And... Uh, Wait, oh, there they are. I was like, it's, it's empty. <laughs> that is nice. So everything is here and they even put everything all in one spot. Very organized. Okay. This is really neat. This is really, really neat. I thought it was just going to spawn like all scattered and stuff, but this is really, really neat. Before I do anything, let me equip my, uh, my new stuff or I can just do it when I get back home. Let me take this actually, cause this is what I need right now. Let me go open some of these doors so I can start to uh, putting stuff in here. I believe I can just open this one. Will it lower? I like to be organized. So I'm going to put everything that I have to deliver in uh, module one, and then I'll just put my personal stuff in, in module two. Oh. Oh, good job. So let's start moving stuff into the ship. I wonder, do these ramps lower? I feel like they do. And I just don't know how, how to do it or I just can't find like the button inside of there. I know that bringing out the caterpillar just for 11 boxes was a bit of an overkill, but uh, I had to do it. I love the caterpillar. Any, oh, uh, uh, okay, I'll fix that later. Any opportunity to take it out, I'll take it. Gotta drink some protein. Storing all of these in my bag. There you go. So I accidentally moved this and that sent all of my stuff uh, to the floor. <laughs> so I have to now pick everything up. It's okay though, this should be quick. Oh, I just noticed that I can open and close the, uh, the doors from here. Nice. This is the last item. We should be good to go. Oh, I thought it was going to be a lot messier because there were a few boxes that I just threw in here. <laughs> Very nice. Look at this. Very cool. So let's close this right here. And then let's go to where I have uh, my personal stuff. Oh, I can't, can't walk through that space. So let's move this over here. There you go. Much better. This is all very nice and snappy. Looking very nice and clean. Close this too. I think I know my way around here now. It just took a couple of tries. This is Captain Sir Hayes. Permission to take off. You are clear to launch. 
thank you so we're going to hdpc casello set our route there you go so for some reason after setting the destination i didn't have the option to quantum travel to the location where i was supposed to deliver this cargo and it also seems like the contractor ended up failing me so this run was a bust so since i failed my first delivery what's gonna happen to this uh is this now considered stolen like can i go sell it somewhere will i get a crime stat i'm definitely gonna have to figure this out in the next run i do not want to build their bad rep with lorville especially if i'm planning on uh moving here permanently i'm so glad we got to experience some of the new changes even though we didn't get to deliver our first uh cargo haul i have to come back to report to these guys to let them know what happened so hopefully that goes uh that goes well captain sir hayes requesting permission to land proceed to sign landing bay thank you i hope you guys enjoyed watching this play out this was captain sir hayes and i will see you all in the next one sir hayes out